A Day and Night in the Desert, Caroline Arnold's Habitats. 6 a.m. Tap, 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 tap. It is an early spring morning in the Sonoran Desert. A woodpecker drills a hole in a saguaro cactus. The tall plant will be a good place to build a nest. On the ground, below, a coyote looks for a shady place to rest. A saguaro cactus can grow 40 to 60 feet, 12 to 18 meters tall. It is the tallest kind of cactus in the United States. A jackrabbit spots the coyote and bounds away on long, strong legs. 9 a.m. A lizard warms its scaly body in the morning sun. Nearby, a hummingbird wears its wings and sips nectar. Its long bill fits the flower perfectly. High on the rocky slopes, bighorn sheep nibble grass. A hungry Gila monster comes out of its burrow. It looks for nests containing eggs or small animals to eat. The Gila monster kills its prey with a venomous bite. A Gila monster can live without food for up to one year by living on fat stored in its tail. Noon. Shadows grow short in the midday sun. Heat bakes the desert floor. Cuckoo, calls a roadrunner. It races after a small lizard and catches it in its bill. The roadrunner runs back to its nest to feed its young. A desert tortoise searches for flowers, leaves, and grasses. Its tough shell helps keep it cool. The tortoise breaks off plants with its mouth and chews them. When the tortoise is done eating, it goes back into its cool burrow. A desert tortoise gets almost all the water it needs from its food. It can live without drinking for up to one year. Three p.m. By afternoon, the desert air is very hot. Most animals stay out of the sun, but the antelope ground squirrel does not seem to mind. It scampers across the desert floor, gathering seeds, fruit, and insects. Its tail shades its body like an umbrella. The squirrel keeps watch for snakes and other predators. A red-tailed hawk circles in the sky. It is looking for something to eat. The squirrel sees the hawk and dashes to safety inside its burrow. Antelope ground squirrels often climb barrel cacti to eat the fruit. No one knows how they keep from getting stuck by the cacti's sharp spines. 6 p.m. Daylight fades and the desert air cools quickly. Nighttime animals come out to hunt and feed. Picaris grunt to one another as they search for roots, fruit, and seeds. They use their noses like shovels to dig up cactus roots and other plants. Picaris are also called javelinas. They live in groups, sometimes of more than 20 animals. A prickly pear cactus hides the entrance to a pack rat den. Its sharp thorns help protect the pack rats from predators. Its fruit, when ripe, is a good source of food too. Pack rats collect seeds, leaves, cactus pads, and spines and store them in their den. 9 p.m. Stars twinkled in the clear desert sky. A ringtail climbs a cactus, looking for ripe fruit. Mice come out of their holes to collect seeds. A rattlesnake slips out from under a rock and gets ready to hunt. It can feel the ground vibrate when the mice move. Hoo! Hoo! Calls an owl. It searches on silent wings for rats, mice, and other small animals. It catches them with its sharp talons. The owl carries its prey back to its nest. A rattlesnake injects venom into its prey through hollow, pointed teeth called fangs. Midnight. The cool midnight air is full of life. Bats swoop in the dark sky. Some chase tiny insects. Others drink nectar from cactus flowers. Oh! Oh! Howls a coyote. All night long it hunts for food. It will eat insects, lizards, mice, fruit, or whatever it can find. When the coyote finds a water hole, it stops for a drink. Scorpions and tarantulas crawl nearby, looking for spiders and insects to eat. A water hole in the desert is called an oasis. 3 a.m. All through the night, desert animals are busy looking for food. A kangaroo rat finds some seeds and stuffs them into pouches in its cheeks. 
it will store the seeds in its burrow. A kit fox looks and listens for rats and mice. Its large ears can hear their tiny, high-pitched sounds. The kit fox sees a, sees a kangaroo rat and pounces. But just in time, the kangaroo rat leaps away to safety. A kangaroo rat has long hind legs. It can leap several feet in one hop. 6 a.m. The sky grows light and the sun pecks over the horizon. Nighttime animals settle down for the day. Owls return to their nest. The kit, the kit fox goes to its burrow and the picaris curl up for a nap. It is time for daytime animals to wake up and start a new day. Lizards warm themselves. Jackrabbits find leaves to nibble and birds collect food for their young. Every day and every night, animals find food, water, and safe places to rest in the desert. It provides them with everything they need.